Hi guys, today we are making a Mickey Mouse 2D face. I have a bonus tutorial at the end of the video so make sure to watch it. So first we'll have to get our pattern on Google and then print it out and cut it. You can use any face that you want. Just make sure that you can see all the details clearly. I have prepared this rolled black fondant ahead of time so that it has time to dry. You don't really have to wait that long but at least rest it for around 10 to 15 minutes so that it has time to dry. Using your pattern cut accordingly. And then just follow your pattern. It can be a little bit tricky, especially on the curves, so just take your time. I am using black as the base because that's the majority part of the Mickey Mouse. You can use a regular cutter or a fondant cutter, so whatever you prefer is fine. When you're done, remove your pattern and check for imperfections. When you're satisfied with it, set it aside to dry. Let us now move on to the details of his face. Roll a black oval fondant for his nose. And then pat it down gently so that it's a little bit flat. And then set aside. And now we will be working on his face. Let's cut our pattern so we can trace it on the fondant. Like our black fondant, I have already flattened the flesh fondant ahead of time, so it had a little bit of time to dry. Let's cut our fondant using our pattern. If you don't dry your fondant ahead of time, when you cut through this uh, pattern, sometimes the fondant will be dragging. And, uh, and we don't want that because it's not going to be proportioned. When you're done, remove your pattern and check for imperfections. Use your fingers to rub around the edges so that we can have a rounded corners. This can make our Mickey Mouse face look softer. Make sure you are getting all the sides. Using a fondant tool, trace the lines on his face. This will serve as a guide for us to follow later on when we remove the pattern. You can do this as gently as possible, just enough so you can see it later on. 
When you got everything that you need, retrace the lines that we did earlier. You can put your pattern side by side so that you'll have an idea on what you are going to do next. Imagine that you are drawing Mickey Mouse but using a fondant tool. If you cannot see some of the lines that you made, simply put your pattern back and retrace it. Make sure that you are making the edges rounded as it gives a friendlier look. This can be a little bit tricky especially if you're not used to drawing, so just take your time and do it as slowly as you have to. I think with the progress that we have now, it looks very good. When you're done, we can now start on our eye. Cut our pattern eye out so that we will have this uh, eye hole that we can trace. Remove the part where we will put the eyes. Carve this one out so that we can replace it with the eye pattern. And then clean up the edges. When you are done, let's now take our black fondant that we did a while ago and combine them together. Before adding water, make sure that your pattern is in the right position. When you are satisfied with it, gently put water on the sides until you cover up the whole thing. Make sure to lift your Mickey Mouse gently so that you will not damage the face. When you are done, set it aside to dry. Let us now move on to the eyes. Take your eye pattern out that we did earlier. and then combine it with the rest of his face. If you feel that it's a little bit small than you want it to be, you can adjust it accordingly. But of course, if the size is too different, just repeat the process. And then take a black fondant for his pupil. Don't forget to put edible water when you are combining things together. And then place the nose that we did earlier too. I'm adding a white fondant so that our eyes is like shining. As I said earlier in the video, I will give you a bonus. So I will teach you also how to make the hand of Mickey Mouse. We will start off with the big chunk of fondant. 
Making two hands, it's uh, the best way to do it is work side by side so that you can make sure that they are about the same size. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect, just about the same size would be enough. We'll have to start with the basic shapes and add finger by finger one at a time. You can use a fondant tool to help you with the shapes of your fingers. When you did one, you can repeat the same process for the other hand. Bend your fingers slowly so that it won't crack the fondant. Doing fondant toppers sometimes can be really tricky because you are using your fingers and it will be showing on the surfaces of your fondant. But try to make it as smooth as possible so that it won't be looking very ugly on, on the outside. When you're done, it will look something like this. Then you can repeat the same process for the other hand. Sometimes it's really hard to explain what I'm doing, so just try to copy how you see it. If you feel like one hand is bigger than the other, so just try to adjust it accordingly use a fondant tool to help us with the details like adding the wrist and the separation of each fingers Gently make a guide before you go all the way so that you won't be having a problem if you made a mistake with the sizes of your each finger. Use a ball tool to help you with the hollow part of the hand. And then copy the same thing for the other hand. Making two identical things can be really hard, so if you find that uh, the other one looks so different, it's okay to repeat it. For me personally, I don't mind repeating the same thing over and over again as long as I can make it perfect. After that, let's start making the other details of his hand. Roll out six flat fondant, three on each hand. This is like his signature hand pattern. Now, slowly, slowly, we are starting to recognize the Mickey Mouse hand. Now that you know how to make a Mickey Mouse hand and a Mickey Mouse face pattern, you can now create your own Mickey Mouse cake. And that's how we make our Mickey Mouse cake. I hope you like our video tutorial for today. If you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!